Hey, what's going on everybody? This video, we're gonna be talking about properties and how to be a little bit more custom rather than just using auto properties. So if you checked out my previous video on encapsulation, you know that properties allow us to basically gate access to our fields. And that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. So to be where I'm at, all you really need is a user class, which I'll show you in a second. We create an instance of that, and then we assign some values to these properties. These are just auto properties. So taking a look at our class, you can see it just says first name, get set, last name, get set. But that's going to automatically create a field, a backing field for us. And in certain situations, we're gonna to need to do that ourselves. So if we wanna be explicit about how the, the encapsulation works, then we need to create a field ourselves. So let's do that with first name. We're just gonna focus on get for right now because I wanna do set in the next video. So just say get and then put curly braces like so. I'm just gonna space this out a little prettier. Beautiful. Now, when you hover over get, it's gonna say not all code paths return a value. So what this means is we actually have to return the value that is going to be retrieved when someone tries to use this property. So where's that gonna come from? It's gonna come from a field that we create. So let's do that. We're gonna say string, and by convention, I'm just gonna use underscore first name and a semicolon. And then all we have to do inside of the get is say return underscore first name. So that is the, the longer version of just having this. It's not doing anything special. This is essentially what's going on behind the scenes when we do the auto properties. But now we have a little bit more customization around these properties. So for example, I can say underscore first name dot and then for example, um, we could say two lower, like so. And you can see this two lower method is going to return a string. And that's basically going to take the first name and make it all lowercase. Now, you might be wondering, if we don't have a set in here, how exactly is this going to uh, get a value? And that's a clever thought. There's a couple different things you can do. One, we can follow into the next video where we're going to create the set part of this. But alternatively, you may run across read-only properties. And the way these work is the value is usually set at the beginning when the instance of the class is created. So when we create an object, we pass in the first name and then it's set permanently for the rest of the object's lifetime. Alternatively, we can assign a value that will be a default value up here. So for example, I'm gonna put Caleb and I'll just put in all capitalized letters just to, so it's really clear what's going on here. Now over in our program, we're not gonna be able to assign to this because we don't have that set. It says user.firstName cannot be assigned to, it is read only. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. That value is going to come by default here. We're not gonna pass it in to the constructor which is the other option and we'll talk about that when we get to constructors. For now, we're just going to take the default Caleb. It's a little silly because not every object is gonna be named Caleb, but it's a good way just to understand read-only properties. So what we're gonna do here is we're just going to output the person's name one time in our program. And um, you can just, if you don't have this method, you could just say console.writeLine and pass in me.firstName. Actually, I'll just do that. It actually seems easier. Me first name. We're going to use it just like any other property. Then when we run this, you can see we get Caleb in all lowercase letters. So that is a little bit on customizing your properties. Check out the next video because we're going to be talking about set and I got to go uh, take care of my dog because I think she's freaking out for some reason. So <laughs> I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching.